everyone. Welcome to our new money series. What can my small business sell to the federal government? Our first profile is selling to the Department of Justice. So what can your business sell to the Department of Justice is what we're going to talk about in this video. Every federal agency, just like we talked about before, over and over and over again, spends billions on products and services created by small businesses every single year. And to be exact, you know by now we're talking about $92 billion or more every single year. So before you can sell something to the federal government or any federal agency, you should know what the agency buys. If you don't know what they buy, you're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of wasted time, maybe figuring it out, maybe not figuring it out. So this series is to help you figure it out before you get started so you know exactly where you're headed or you know exactly where you don't want to head. So our first federal government agency profile is the Department of Justice, which I happen to like personally myself because they have so many departments under the Department of Justice and there's so many business opportunities for small businesses under the Department of Justice. So I'm going to give you a overall profile structure of the Department of Justice. I know that sometimes it can be confusing which agency has which departments and which agencies control other departments. So I'm just going to spell it out for you so that you can identify these agencies when you think of the Department of Justice. But in most cases, you need to know who you're doing business with. That's the most important thing. Sometimes we get everything all confused and we're thinking one agency is the same as another and it's not. And there are a lot of agencies with a lot of uh, departments built in. I call them the parent, which would be the daddy agency, the big agency. And then I talk about the, the departments that go underneath the parent which would be, in this case, the Department of Justice. So with the Department of Justice, what we have is agencies like BOP. Now, you know, we don't need to go into all of the details for each of the agencies because that's not what this is about. You will have to do some research on your own, but what I want you to understand is the agencies that are connected and the agencies that will be part of the funding and the contracting for the Department of Justice. So BOP is Bureau of Prisons. That's all of the prisons around the country, whether they are privately run prisons or whether they are run by the federal government. They're under the Department of Justice. The ATF, that's the firearms people. FBI. DEA, the drug people. So, you know, all of these agencies, we probably don't think of them that way. Sometimes we think of them as their own, as being their own agencies, but really, technically speaking, they are a department underneath the agency, which is the Department of Justice. FPI, Unicor, we don't see that much with them, but they're on the forecast report and you you may not see a lot of activity under them, but if they ever come up, you know they're part of the Department of Justice. JMD, QJP. The last three, those are eight, uh, not agencies, but departments that you rarely will deal with or you rarely see. But if you ever do, if you see those initials, which is generally the way you will see them by their initials, you will know that they belong to the Department of Justice. So this is the structure for the Department of Justice, but for the most part, BOP, ATF, FBI, and DEA are the ones that you are likely to be most familiar with. 
So how much money did the Department of Justice spend in 2017? Look at that. With all businesses, large and small, nationwide, the Department of Justice spent $7.9 billion. Yes, that is billions with a B. And uh, we'll talk about how much of that went to small businesses, but that's a lot of money, a lot of money. And that's the type of dollar amount that you will see for the Department of Justice every single year. Maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit bigger, sometimes a lot bigger. But $7.9 billion was spent just last year on contracts alone nationwide. So what are the top products and services purchased by the Department of Justice? Look at this. Uh, look at the number one service that is purchased. That would be social rehabilitation services. Now, what the heck is that and what falls under that? So, you know, this video is not going to go into every single one of these areas where the money is spent, but if I wanted to know what is included or purchased under social rehabilitation services, then I would take that terminology, that description, and I would run reports on it. And I could get the breakdown for what social re rehabilitation services means. What are they buying for $1 billion? I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of money. What are they spending a billion dollars on every single year? And if you look at it under number of transactions right next to it, it only has 2,911 transactions, which is a lot, not a lot of activity for a billion dollars. So that means probably only a few companies are getting that billion dollars, but we would need to find out what that is. Other professional services is next. What does that mean? other professional services. So we would need to look that up as well to see what can I sell under other professional services. That's $942 million. What does that mean? Well, the third one on the list is guard services. We know what that is. We know what that is because if you go to our series on how much money can I make, we actually did a profile of two guard services companies because we saw this on the, under the Department of Justice. And I will do that every once in a while. I'll pick a company type or service type or product type. And I will do small business profiles because as you can see, $461 million was spent on guard services. And so that was a really good connection to the Department of Justice. And if you did not listen to that video or see that, or you don't know that series, just go back into, look at the playlist, look at our playlist and uh, listen to that that story or, or that video about guard services. But that's why we did that. When we see large amounts of money being spent, that makes us, us curious about how that could work for small businesses. And I told you under guard services, not just the Department of Justice, but a lot of the agencies that need guard services, a total of $1.4 billion was spent just on security guard services with small businesses. So you can just imagine how much is spent under the Department of Justice and especially with large and small businesses. So go down the line. I'm staying on this page for a minute. Look down here at medical services, $143 million spent. Program management services electric services. That doesn't necessarily mean electricity. That could mean electrical, some other electrical things. Um, construction, miscellaneous construction. That could be something as simple as fixing things. That could be a lot of things. But if we wanted to know exactly what that was for the Department of Justice, we would simply go back to USA Spending and we would run a report on miscellaneous construction materials and we would choose the Department of Justice. And that would give us a breakdown of exactly what was bought 
and sold under miscellaneous construction materials. Then we have drugs and but, but, uh, biologicals. Um, we know that that goes to pharmacies. That would be some of the uh, medications and things like that that are needed to be purchased. We know that uh, the prisons probably get medication. Uh, there are other areas that probably get medications uh, and drugs as well. But if you look at that, that's a large number, $111 million just in one year for drugs and biologicals. So if you are a pharmacist or if you are a doctor or if you are a healthcare provider, you don't even have to be a medical doctor to provide um, drugs and biologicals to the federal, federal government. But of course you would need to see wh what, you, what you have to do to be able to sell those types of products to the government. But I know for a fact, you don't have to have all of these different licensings. Of course it has to be legal, but you just want to check into that if that's something that you do. But definitely pharmacists can do it, but it doesn't have to be a pharmacist. A lot of this stuff is over the counter. So check into that if that's something you're interested in. Translation and interpreting services. Wow. Even sign language. $103 million. That is a lot of money. That's an interesting one to look into. Maintenance, repair, rebuilding. $82 million. Um, I'm just going to go down a little bit uh, where I see um, food, oils, and fats. Now, that's very interesting. What is that? But if I wanted to know, if I wanted to see if that's something I could provide, maybe I have a food service business, uh, perhaps I could look up foods, oils, and fats under the Department of Justice and see what kinds of services or products are they buying for $49 million? Video recording and reproducing equipment. Um, what else? ADP components. If you're a telecommunications company, you need to look at you know both of these areas right here and find out what are they buying for $43 million and $40 million. Office furniture right here. If you do office furniture, that's another good one. Um, that's a really good one for small businesses to get into. And keep in mind, if you supply something or your business is office furniture, remember, you don't have to house all of that information or, excuse me, all of that um, furniture right in your facility. What if you're a manufacturer and you make furniture? That's great. But what if you don't? Uh, make furniture at your facility. You can do drop ship. You need to think about what are the ways that you can provide some of these services without having to purchase the services first and then provide them to the um, government or the federal agency that you want to work with. Look at this, passenger motor vehicles. Oh, if you sell cars or you have a car lot or, I mean, I would, if I owned a, a dealership, I would look into this. So there's so many things in here that a lot of business people can do, a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners can do. But I will be taking some of these ideas since I know the government spends 82 million or 100 million on certain products and services, and I will make sure that I do more investigation for you guys to see are small businesses having a good chance to win these opportunities? I know for a fact that they are, but I need to show them to you. Here's one more. Uh, gas services. Obviously, we buy a lot of gas under the Department of Justice. Uh, other utilities. Expert with witnesses. Uh, let's go down a little bit further. Financial services, including credit card services. Uh, communication services, who knows what that means, that could be anything. But if you see anything on this list that looks interesting to you, you should check into it and do more research. Now, we only did up to $22 million because after that, your chances, unless it's a specialty item, you don't want to be competing or spending time trying to compete in an area that does not have 
a high dollar value. So when we get down to 22 million, 15 million, that kind of thing, that's low enough. That's not to say that you don't need to look at opportunities that are down in the 10 millions, but it's much easier for you to compete in the larger dollar amount areas for services and products that the um, federal agency buys. And in this case, the Department of Justice. Look at this, meat, poultry, fish. They actually spent $27 million specifically on meat, poultry, and fish. So it's very interesting to learn, you know, what dollars are being spent where. But if you see something that's interesting to you, then you need to do a little more research. But you at least know just from this video that I am showing you factual information about the money and the dollars that are spent in different areas, different industries that um, that the government would buy from you. In this case, that the Department of Justice would buy from you. Here's one more. We go all the way down to 15 million. So if we look, we start up here, IT services. They spent about 22 million on IT services, other transportation and relocation services, maintenance, repair, rebuilding of alarm and signal security systems, accounting services even, uh, would they would have spent about 19 million last year. And custodial janitorial services, they spent up to $18 million. And then mailing and distribution services. So these are all types of services that small businesses do and can do. So if you're interested in working with the Department of Justice, now you know what they're offering. And if you want to sell them something, you better get busy. Okay, so what did they do with small businesses in 2017? In 2017, they spent $2.2 billion with small businesses. That's amazing. Could be a lot more, but again, we're struggling even to get the $2.2 billion because you guys are not bidding. You're not coming out here to go after these dollars that the federal government is trying to set aside for you. So you have the same small businesses winning over and over and over again. If you want to be one of them, I'm giving you the information for you to start seeking opportunities with the Department of Justice as a small business. So this was for 2017. This is for small businesses and small disadvantaged businesses. That's how much business small businesses won nationwide for 2017 with the Department of Justice. If you look at 2018 right now today, and we're talking about all businesses, large and small. We're only in the second quarter, and it just started, second quarter of 2018. Already, the Department of Justice has spent $1.6 billion in the first quarter of 2018. So if you want to do business with the Department of Justice, you had better get busy. Time waits for no one. This is what they're buying already. They've already spent $198 million in social rehabilitation services. We need to look that up. If we want to know what that is, then we need to look it up. And could I do a profile on businesses that win money under social rehabilitation services? Surely I could, and I will probably do that. I already did it for guard services. It's only the first quarter and they already spent $113 billion on guard services. If you have a security business and you are interested in growing your business, getting in a different market in the federal arena, then this is your ticket with the Department of Justice. So here is the website for the small business section uh, for the Department of Justice. And let me just clarify that a little bit more. Every agency has a large website with everything, but they also have a special small business website. It's called Office of Small Business and Disadvantaged Business Utilization. 
every agency is required by law to have a small business website and this is it for the Department of Justice. And I will provide the link for you to click on their website for you to look at one of the reports for the Department of Justice. But if you look down towards the bottom where it says FY fiscal year 2018 forecast, I would click on that report so that I can find out what are the up and coming opportunities for the Department of Justice. I want to know that so that I can get ahead as a small business if I have intentions of doing business with the Department of Justice. So here's what a forecast report looks like. You have the Bureau. Remember I talked about the ATF? This is a big report. As you can see up here, it's 28 pages. It's a large report with all of the forecast reports for each of the agencies. All of the dollars that are under the Department of Justice that will be spent in 2018. So you have the Bureau right here, which is ATF. You have the product or service that the Bureau is um, or the specific bureau, ATF, that uh, they're going to purchase product or service. They're calling it Raven's Challenge Support. That may be a product or service, or it could be something that they're doing, and um, maybe they're looking for a new vendor or a new small business to work with. Uh, the NAICS code that this project is under, the service description is under, so it's in this case, it's 541611. This is definitely already designated to be a small business set aside. The value of the contract is between 1 million and 5 million. And that's a nice little set aside for a small business. And then it is designated for fourth quarter, meaning the target solicita solicitation date will be for the fourth quarter. The solicitation will come out in the fourth quarter. The target award date will be awarded during the same 90 days, the fourth quarter. So the same three months. So they'll put the solicitation out and give people a month or, or two to get their uh, bid in or their offer. And then they'll make a decision right away. The place of performance would be Huntsville, Alabama. And the incumbent right now is Booz Allen. Now this is very interesting because Booz Allen is a humongous corporation. And it looks like what they've done is they've, tried, they've decided to change this from a full and open competition to make it a set aside. That's awesome. That is wonderful. Uh, so it's very interesting that this opportunity was held by Booz Allen. When you see this column right here, it says incumbent. That means Booz Allen is the one that holds the contract right now. So you could go do some research or request the information on the contract with Booz Allen to get a head start because this is only the second quarter. If you're serious about doing Department of Justice business and you want to work with them, you would go and do your research. And you could also contact this gentleman right here that happens to be one of the uh, points of contact. This is the federal buyer. This column point of contact is for the federal buyers slash contracting officers. Okay, so this is an example of a forecast report. These are very valuable. You could contact this person and ask them, is everything on track? Is it going to remain a small business? And when do they think the solicitation is coming out? Do they have a date yet? And is there any information that they can provide for you? So this is how you use a forecast report. You should highlight everything on this report to help you get ready and prepare. So where do you find the opportunities? Well, if you know you want to do business with the Department of Justice, what you could do is come to fbo.gov, click on the post date within 30 days, make sure it's total small business, make sure it's pre-solicitation so you're not getting anything that is um, already in progress. You need to get ahead. And you could literally just Go ahead and start typing under agency Department of Justice. And once you type in Department of Justice, after that, 
hit search and then it'll bring up everything under the Department of Justice. You could also go to this link right here up at the top that says agencies and put in Department of Justice and get all of the agencies like uh, ATF, FBI, DEA, everything all broken down. So this is where you start finding those opportunities. You could also, before you um, put in your solicitation um, information, you could also put in a keyword so that you can narrow things down. But I would suggest that you just kind of leave the keywords out for a minute just to get familiar go through the listings with the Department of Justice, the bids, the solicitations that are out there so you can see what's going on and click on ones that look interesting to you. And if they look interesting to you or look like you'd like to bid on them, make sure you set up an account with FBO.gov. You know, go down to the bottom of this report of, or go down to the bottom of FBO.gov and set up an account and then make sure that you put the Department of Justice in as your one of your your agencies that you'd like to follow every time you see something that looks good and you want to follow it if it's in pre-solicitation mode then you will get a notice when the actual solicitation is posted okay so it's just that simple you can follow the Department of Justice and keep up with everything they're doing okay that's it on the Department of Justice. If you have any questions, please send me comments. Ask me any information you need to know. Please subscribe and also watch for the next video. Thank you for joining me in this video and I'll see you next time.